In this video, I'll be going through the solutions to the questions on solving trigonometric equations. If you haven't tried the questions and want to do so, there's a link to them in this video's description. So let's begin with this question. We start off by doing inverse cos of 0 0.5. Now you should know inverse cos of a half, that's 60 degrees. And now we draw the graph of y equals cos x to find the other solution. So if we draw a line at 0 0.5, you'll see there are two solutions. We've already got one of those, the left one, that's 60. And to get the right one, we use the symmetry of the graph. So we do 360 take away 60, which is 300 degrees. So there are two solutions, 60 degrees and 300 degrees. For this next question, we do inverse sine of square root 3 over 2. Again, this is an exact value, so you should know this one. This is also 60 degrees. Now we draw the graph of y equals sine x, and we'll use the symmetry to find the other solutions. So if we draw a line at square root 3 over 2, there'll be two solutions. We've already got the left one, that's 60 degrees. So we'll use the symmetry of the graph. We do 180 take away 60, and we get the other one at 120. So there are two solutions, 60 degrees and 120 degrees. For this question, we do inverse tan of 1. So this is an exact value again. This one is 45 degrees. And then we draw the graph of tan x to find the other solution. Let's draw a horizontal line at 1. This gives us two solutions. We've already got the first one of those, 45. And remember, tan repeats every 180. So we add 180 to get the second solution. So 45 plus 180 is 225. So there are two solutions, 45 degrees and 225 degrees. For this question, we're going to start by doing inverse cos of 0 0.25. And using your calculator, you'll get 75.5 degrees to one decimal place. Then we draw the graph of y equals cos of x. We draw this horizontal line at 0 0.25. And you'll see there are two solutions. We've already got the left one, 75.5. And we want the right one. So we do 360, take 75.5 which is 284.5. So there are two solutions to this one, 75.5 and 284.5. We'll start this question by doing inverse sine of 0 0.9. Using your calculator, you get 64.2 degrees. Now we need to use the graph of sine of x to find the other solution. So if we draw a horizontal line at 0 0.9, you can see there are two solutions. We've already got the one on the left, 64.2 degrees. So we'll use the symmetry of the graph, 180, take away 64.2 which gives you the other solution. So we've got two solutions, 64.2 degrees and 115.8 degrees. For this question, we need to start by doing inverse tan of 2.2. Using your calculator, that will give you 65.6 degrees to one decimal place. And then we'll look at the graph. We draw a horizontal line at 2.2. There are two solutions. We already have the first of those, that's 65.6. And to get the second one, we add 180. So 65.6 plus 180 gets you 245.6. So there are two solutions to this one, 65.6 degrees and 245.6 degrees. For this question, we do inverse cos of negative 0 0.3. That gives you 107.5 degrees. And then we look at the graph. This time we need to draw the line at negative 0 0.3. So that's here. And there are two solutions. We already have the left one, that's 107.5. And we'll use the symmetry to get the other one. So 360, take away 107.5, is 252.5. So there are two solutions, 107.5 and 252.5. To start this question, we do inverse sine of negative 0.17. And using your calculator, you'll get negative 9.8 degrees. Now that isn't between 0 and 360. So we'll look at the sine graph and draw a horizontal line at negative 0.17. That goes here. And you'll see the two solutions that we want. However, they're not the solutions that we have. We have the solution negative 9.8 degrees. That's here. We'll now find the solution, the furthest left on this diagram. That's this one here, using the symmetry of the graph. If we do negative 180 plus 9.8, we find that solution is negative 170.2. So we have these two solutions. They're not between 0 and 360. But if we add 360 to both of them, they will be. So negative 170.2 plus 360. That's 189.8. And we also do negative 9.8 plus 360. That's 350.2. So we have our two solutions now. They're 189.8 and 350.2. For this question, we start with inverse tan of negative 0 0.4. That's going to give you negative 21.8. And that's not between 0 and 360. So let's look at the graph. 
and draw this horizontal line at negative 0 0.4. And you can see the two solutions that we want are on the right hand side, but we found this solution over here on the left hand side at negative 21.8. So to find the other two solutions, we just keep adding 180. So negative 21.8 plus 180 is 158.2. And then we add 180 to that as well, and we'll get the second one, 338.2. So it's 158.2 and 338.2. For this question we need to do some rearrangement first. We're going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. If we divide the left by 3 we get cos x, and if we divide the right by 3 we get 1 third. Now we can solve this, we'll do inverse cos of 1 third, using your calculator, that's 70.5 degrees, and then we look at the cos graph, we'll draw a horizontal line at 1 third, and you can see there are two solutions. We have the left one, that's 70.5, so we'll use the symmetry to get the right one, 360 take away 70.5 is 289.5 degrees. So there were two solutions, 70.5 and 289.5. For this question, we need to begin by dividing both sides by 4. If we divide the left by 4, we get tan x, and if we divide the right by 4, it's 5 over 4. Then we just do inverse tan of 5 over 4. That'll give us one of the solutions. Using your calculator, that's 51.3 degrees. And now we look at the graph. So let's draw a line at 5 over 4, and we can see there are two solutions here. We already have the left one, that's 51.3, so we just add 180 to get the right one. 51.3 plus 180 is 231.3. So we have two solutions, 51.3 and 231.3. For this question, I'm going to start by adding sine x to both sides. If I add sine x to the left hand side, it will cancel with the negative sine x, so I've just got 3. And if I add it to the right hand side, it's 3.2 plus sine x. Now subtract 3.2 from both sides. If we subtract it from the left, that's negative 0.2. And if we subtract it from the right, the 3.2 will cancel, so we've just got sine x. Now to find x, we just do inverse sine of negative 0.2, and that gives you an x value of negative 11.5 degrees. Unfortunately, this isn't between 0 and 360, so we need to look at the graph. If we draw this line at negative 0.2 here, we can see the two solutions that we do want, but we have this solution over here, which is negative 11.5. If we find the other solution on the far left here, we do negative 180 plus 11.5, which is negative 168.5. And to get the two solutions we do want, we just add 360 to these two solutions. So negative 168.5 plus 360, that's 191.5. And negative 11.5 plus 360 is 348.5. So those are our two solutions, 191.5 and 348.5. For this question, we need to square root both sides first. If you square root the left hand side, you just get cos x. And if you square root the right hand side, you get two solutions, plus or minus 0.3. So we need to split this into two equations. We've got cos x equals 0.3 and cos x equals negative 0.3. We'll start with the left one. So if we do inverse cos of 0.3, that's 72.5. And if we do inverse cos of negative 0.3 on the right one, we get 107.5. So these are two solutions that work, but there are two more. So if we look at the graph here, we draw a horizontal line at 0.3. We can see that first solution there, 72.5. And to find the other one, we need to do 360 take away 72.5, which is 287.5. Now let's also draw the line at negative 0.3. That's here. And you can see the solution we found, 107.5 there. And we'll use the same symmetry property, so 360 take away 107.5, to find the other one, which is 252.5. So we have four solutions, and we'll write those in ascending order, 72.5, 107.5, 252.5, and 287.5. We'll start this question by dividing both sides by 3. If you divide the left by 3, you get tan squared x, and if you divide the right by 3, 12 over 3 is 4. Now we can square root both sides, if you square root the left hand side you get tan x, and if you square root the right hand side you get plus or minus 2. We can separate this out into two equations, tan x equals 2 and tan x equals negative 2. Let's do inverse tan of both of these, so inverse tan of 2 on the left one, that's 63.4, and inverse tan of negative 2 is negative 63.4. Now we'll look at the graph of tan x. Let's start by drawing a line at 2, that goes here, and you can see there are two solutions. And we already have one of those, that's 63.4, we just need the other one. So we add 180, 
and that'll give us the second solution at 243.4. Now let's draw the line at negative 2, and you can see the two solutions we want, but we don't have either of them. We actually have a negative solution over here at negative 63.4. So to find the other ones, we'll just add 180 to this, and that gives you 116.6, and then we add 180 to that as well to get the final one, which is 296.6. So there are four solutions to this equation for 0 to 360. We've got 63.4, 116.6, 243.4, and 296.6. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.